it's time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live. Let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, April 25th on a Thursday. Hope everybody's doing well. S&P down 40, NASDAQ down 160, Russell down 19, Dow down 506. We pushed up to the expected move and we are in update territory, but this little down move took us out. So neutral day as far as from the open goes for Power Hour, so no, no update Power Hour for me at this point. Um, I've got a couple of re-entries on 3-2 and a 1-1. One -one. I've had two rounds of re-entries. Both got um, hit their 30%, got reduced, and then got stopped out for a profit. I'm in my third round right now. And we're getting close to 30% if we get a little bit of a bump here. One DTE got smoked out. My NDX is out of range and did a couple price actions, couple hit 20 and 40% before getting stopped. One, well, I had one full stop. Um, so that's my day. Chad, go ahead and take over. I got to reduce some trades here. Chad, come in, Chad. Yep, yeah, there I am. There you go. Roller coaster day again. Mostly roller coaster up. Um, for me, I'm sitting down a little bit. I had two break even trades and one full loss. Just put a power hour trade on. I'd like to see this. See it chop from here on out. Get a power hour for the win today. All right, so my three twos just hit 30%. So I reduced those. My one to ones aren't quite there yet. Uh, I did put on a PM iron condor as well about 22 minutes ago, just before that. Actually, it probably would not have qualified had it not been for the trade steward differential in the open, but I am in a PM iron condor nonetheless on the 35s and 45s. So that one could use a little bounce. So what I'm showing on my screen, this is these are my two re-entries plus my PM iron condor. I believe. Oh, wait, no, that's not correct. Those are my re-entries. But I am sharing a strike here. So this is everything together. 35 to 45, my sweet spot. I may, I may take one more power hour-ish trade. Give it a little bit a minute. I want to reduce my other re-entries if they hit 30% before I add anything else in. Just need a little teeny bump. I also sold a call spread when we were up at the expected move line and then I condored it off. So if it 
expires below 35. The worst I can do is make 75 bucks. If it pins anywhere from 40 to 45, I can make 20, a little over 2,500. So if it pins up just below the expected move, that would be handy. We are currently at 0.31% from the open, Naughty Dog. Yeah, there's been a lot of talk about the whole trade steward differential. They use, what is it, five seconds after for whatever reason because of the way they, the logic of the bots, they have to use a different opening. So it's like five seconds later. So if you can you can see what happened at the very beginning of the day. We had a huge drop real quick. So they actually used a value much lower than the actual open. Not ideal, but that's how it works. So I always, you know, all the back testing is based on, you know, what you would see on toss. So that's what I base my trades on. So I turned off all my bots, my power hour bots, because they would have fired an update when it's in reality, it's not. So if we push back up and toss is showing an update, then I will re-engage my bots for tranche two and three. All right, so my one to ones are at about twenty five percent. Get a little push up, lock in another thirty. Getting close. A little bit more. One more little. Oof. Come on, you can do it, buddy. You got this. Twenty nine percent. There it is. Hey, Steve, how'd you do today? This morning. Uh, I did good. I mean, I'm I locked in. I haven't had a full stop on my reentries. No, 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 no. I'm talking. I'm talking about before you this, early this morning. Oh. Yeah, we, we heard a couple gobblers and, uh, hang on a second. Let me reduce these stops. Yeah, short. go ahead. Saw you on the trail cam picture. Yeah, I would have been shaking it in front of the, uh, trail cam for you if we did, but <laughs> all right, hang on one second here. Seven. Okay. Yeah, we heard a couple gobblers to the east and east, huh? Okay. And then north, and then they drop down to the north. Yep. That's what they do. I don't know why they like that neighbor's field so much better. I than don't I. know. I know. I gotta I gotta figure out how to what, what can we do to get them over? I know. What can we do just to hunt that farm? We did walk over across the creek over there up north to ch to look in that other field. Saw saw some running around over there. Yeah, they like that one too. They like hanging out with the cows over there. So I also sold a put spread in Tesla. It's kind of looking at this as a my, the old one of my old earnings post earnings short put vertical plays because it gapped up over a one standard deviation and so then when it pulled back here I I got long Tesla to kind of get back what I was losing on my butterfly so that that butterfly will be a five hundred eighty eight dollar loss but I 
sold some verticals. I've already taken a couple off, so I'm almost back to getting that back. Meta is a lost cause. Boeing was coming into the profit and then it bounced. I'm gonna hold I'm gonna still hold it till tomorrow. What what do we have after the bell? I haven't even looked. Who's who's got it? There's a lot. Up? Yeah, there's oh. a lot. Uh re I read them off this morning. I can't remember off the top of my head. Let's see here. Here we go. All right. So Thursday after, oh, yeah. Microsoft, Goog. Yeah. Roku are the big ones. Couple of oil stocks before the market tomorrow. All right, so I'll look at, I'll do something in Microsoft and Google towards the end of the day. So Tesla, I sold the. Uh, 167 half and the 162 half put spread. Sold five of them. I've got three left. Put in an order to close another one. Don't know if this market. Ah, come on. My PMR in Condor is up 30%. Let's see. I think I reduced that at 40, if I'm not mistaken. I need a little bit of a down move here for my power hour trade. So at forty percent, I need to reduce my stop to four bucks. It's going to go to the Royals game today, but it was raining, so. I was going to see if you could cover cover power hour today, but uh, I could have. I'd be a fair weather fan and skip the rain. Yeah, I didn't realize I was supposed to do this. Yeah, here comes the big move back up now. Damn. Yeah, I take a pause right here. Yeah, I mean, I take a pause anywhere. That would work for my. A little free condor. We had a 15 point move down, now 10 point move up. Oh, yeah, I got to pay attention to that. So, yeah, we're, we are in update territory for tranche two if we hold here. So tranche two up day, mine fires at 1330. So I got to be watching it. Well, getting close to getting stopped on my power hour number one.
Just and stop blow higher. Yep. It's just price action is just tough today for Delta neutral. Yeah, that's a pretty big discrepancy, Ken. I don't remember noticing it being that big. 12 on the option chain versus six and a half on the MMM. That's a little, not as big of a loss since I collected less premium. Tesla is up over three and a half percent today. Yeah, I noticed that too, Dark Avenger. About a few hours ago, I was looking at, um, I had left it on my my uh, portfolio group on Trader was I hadn't deleted it yet, and it, I was like, "Oh, that's up twenty five percent now." If you do the testing on the Wednesday entries, it does test just as well, or sometimes I think maybe even a little bit better to hold the Wednesday ones longer. Uh, I don't know of a, I don't, I don't know of a study for it. Opt for dollar. So my rut from yesterday is, well, it's, now it's starting to get a little bit red. It's close to break even. It was up. Big when the market was down, and then my one I put on today is up a little bit. My VXX vertical coming back in with this vol contraction. All right, I got to remember to watch this here in about seven minutes. My PM iron condor is up about 30%. I need 40% to reduce my stop on that one. NDX is out of range, so we'd need a huge down move for that one to work out. Yeah, that one DTE never really got much decay, and it just yeah, I I closed mine. It was down, and then it when it bounced, it was up a little bit, but then it just kept ripping, and then went red, and see ya. Yeah, I closed mine uh, this morning when I saw it wasn't getting any. I think I booked like two hundred dollar profit, and it was just like I'm out on this.
All right, if we hold here, it'll be an update for tranche two. Got about four minutes. I'm gonna jump in here on the 55s and 45s. Just got filled at 630. Fill them on another one of my Teslas. I go ahead and turn on my update bot in one account on my challenge portfolio. I'll wait a couple minutes. Over 90 seconds until tranche two. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my tranche two for my challenge portfolio update version. Currently up about 0.57 from the open. Uh, I don't know if I'd really call it an adjustment. I was just trying to get back what I was down on that butterfly dark Avenger. So I, I sold some put spreads and my, my basis around that was if you if you watch the earnings course, there's a post earnings short put vertical where if it gaps up over one standard deviation, then there's a, a higher likelihood that price is going to continue higher. And so when when it had pushed up and then pulled back here, I just sold some put spreads to take advantage of that continuation bounce, which it happened to work. So I'm, I've almost got back what I've was down on the butterfly. Tranche two just fired. I didn't take a tranche one because it didn't qualify, but Tranche two on the 45s and 55s. The, uh, no, the trailing stop, when you reduce it, it's still a, that reduced is trailing as well. Naughty dog. That's how it is in the back test anyway. Is that a, 
Is that the PM Iron Condor, the same one I do? Yeah, so... Uh, PMI. So you so you just click on the edit trailing stop, and you'd move that to four bucks. Why do I have that at a hundred percent? That's not right. Hmm. Get a little chop now here. Let's just chop around. I don't need to rip to highs or anything like that. No, oh, it is it 100%. That's not right. That should be. All right, so then so then when you go to edit, it would be, um, yeah, you just change that from 12 to 4. Hanging out right at the expected move. Let's just let's just die here. Let's just sleep here. That's right. Looks nice. Let's do it. Looks looks peaceful. And Naughty Dog. Also, I I reduce the um, I reduce the original stop, and I do the trailing stop. Remember, those are two separate components. Yeah, just, yeah, it just gives kind of a, if for some reason it blows through the trailing, gives kind of a an extra layer of stoppage. Creeping up towards highs of day. Ring, 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 dialing a freeze. Yep, need a freeze. Stopped out of a re-entry for profit. Need a freeze. So it looks like pretty certain that tranche three is going to be an update as well. Yeah, I'm 
I'm getting stopped out of my re-entries for profits here. So I had three rounds of e of re-entries in, in both accounts and got got all all three and both accounts reduced at 30 percent and then stopped for a profit so my my challenge portfolio is up about two percent and that's including the one dte that got stopped Our hour needs a down move, but this just looks like. I think the S&P wants to go green today. It's got 18 points to go. Just incredible. Incredible move up. I mean, it was at 50.56 at one time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, 49.92. There you go. Come on back down towards that expected move. Yeah, it was down like 70 points at one point today. Not a good day for Delta. Tranche two, I got, uh, I'm on the 45s, 55s. I've, I got filled at 870. In one account and then 810 in the other. But it's going to depend on your width. Let's take a look at Microsoft and Goog. So Microsoft's still down 2.5%, but big bounce, of course. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to think here. I'm just thinking about the overall market. I mean, are we just kind of filling in before a further down move? Or is, or is the down move over? Chris, yeah. what do you think? Chris Indicator, where's your crystal ball? What do you got for me? More down. Yeah, but you always think it's going down. Is it really going down? Or is this just your bearish self? I think it's just getting ready to rip another about five or 10 points. Chad, are we going up or down tomorrow? Tomorrow? Well, you know, honestly, that's probably going to be a lot based on earnings. Uh, I mean, I, I bet we have, I bet some of those earnings are bad to, uh, after the market closes and then we rip back up tomorrow after it opens up down. 
Tranche three filled, 15 wide on the 50s and 65s. I need better than 50% on this one, Lando. Dick K, what do you got for me? Up or down tomorrow? I know that's I'm trying to make a play on Microsoft and Google. That's why I, that's why I need you. Don't aren't your Bollinger bands telling you anything? Come on. Where are you where where's Mr. Bollinger when you need him? Tranche two is up 20%. Tranche three is already up 13%. My PM iron condor is break even right now, though. I need to pull back. Don't you have a VWAP or something that can help us? Some bibs, yeah, something. Give me something, Dick K. Not like you not to give me an opinion. Even when I don't ask for it. Now all of a sudden I ask for it and you're silent? Come on. Do I do I need to make a wager for you to give me an opinion? Gosh damn it, Dick. About ready to get filled on power hour number two twenty percent. There we go. Hit twenty percent. Yep, pull back a little bit more. <laughs> I have plenty of my own barbecue to eat, Andrew, so that that's not the problem. I'm just more broke. All right, I'm just going to have to make my own decision then. I'm going to go short. I'm going to play some put flies on uh, Microsoft and Goog. I think 
like this is bounces to suck the by the dippers back in. Just rip their hearts out tomorrow. All right, Krish says no, so that means definite yes. The Christian indicator, the contrarian Christian indicator it was broken yesterday with Meta, but I got it fixed, I think. I got it back from the repair shop. It's fixed. Tranche two is at 38%, close to my 40% stop reduction. We can come down just a tad bit more. Tesla is rocking. Is it? <clears throat> A lot of people bought that Tesla dip. We well, got one more, one more vertical left. Try to get out of that for about eighty cents. No, I had an earnings butterfly that I got short on and I was down on that. So I, uh, I was just selling some put spreads today to, to make that back. Okay. Tranche to 40%. So reducing stop on that one. And that's far enough down. I like it to sit right there. Let's just sit right there. Tesla announced some layoffs and they announced they were rolling out a new fleet of driverless taxis. Basically the same thing Elon said five years ago. And the stock rips. I don't think Microsoft or Google have the uh, same storytelling ability as Elon. They're going down. Sit right there, please. Oh, yeah, be careful, Dick K. Don't. Don't get that gas pedal stuck on the floor. Just pay the man his fifty six billion. I mean, does he not deserve it? He did what he he did what he said he was supposed to do.
they thought there was no shot he would he would do that and he did it pay the man it's completely incentive based and he hit it we're just trying to argue that his board is all his buddies and so they didn't disclose it properly to the public i don't buy it pay the man Yeah, I like Kimball. Kimball's a good dude. He's not afraid to tell Elon when he's wrong. There's a good uh good interview with Kimball Musk on uh oh, who oh uh Lex Friedman podcast. It's pretty good. Yeah. Oh yeah, I listened to that one. Actually, I don't think I've finished it yet. I listened to most of it last weekend when I was mowing. Rogan's a good, good listen when you got a three or four hour mow session. Should be hitting sixty or forty percent here pretty soon. My uh, tranche three is not liking this down move. Yep, this down move is not good for a power hour in my other account. But my PM Iron Condor is liking it. it's getting close to forty percent. We go. Filled it forty percent in power hour number two. I had a feeling we'd get a move down here. All right, there's my PM iron condor hit forty percent, reducing my stop. My tranche three is about a buck away from getting stopped. If we don't freeze or bounce, I would, have, I would prefer a freeze. I would prefer a little bounce. When is this bar going to be over? Good riddance. Pass him back through the uh, right at the expected move line. Let's see what the old at the money 50 flies trading at. Buck 20, buck 25, maybe, buck 30.
Get back up there. Calm down, Dark Avenger. I said end of day. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, yes, I am playing Google and Microsoft short. Let's see what just happened. Stopped out of tranche three. Oops, I still have tranche two and my PM Iron Condor. So expected move in Google is about nine bucks. Well, there's a little push down. So stopped out of tranche two for a profit. Oh, stopped at it to tranche two for profit. <clears throat> All right, so I still got my PM Iron Condor. I still got my little Ooh, it's in pin territory. If we free if we pin here, that'll be good for twenty five hundred. Gapped up five out of nine quarters. Gapped overnight between 0.4 and 7.8. All right, let me do Google first. Well, it looks like they called off the... Uh, looks like they... Worlds are in a rain delay. And there's a little bounce. All right, <clears throat> here we go. There's my Goog. Microsoft kept up five of nine.
Make it make your move of about twenty two. Yep, we're going down. Microsoft's going down hard. Is it? <laughs> that's my, that's what I'm playing. Oh, gotcha. Um, all right, so we're currently at about 400. What are we betting, Dick? Okay. <laughs> well, that's no fun. I get, I get congrat, I get congratulated enough. I don't need any more of those. Need a little bounce. Here's my Microsoft. All right. So my PMI and Condor is currently trading at 440. It's up about 67%. Got the MOC number in a couple minutes. I've got my little vertical that I condored off that if we can be between 40 and 45, that'd be a nice little bonus. Let's see what I've got available here. I've got available strikes for Mr. Mahomes if he wants to play. Only trading for about a buck forty, buck thirty. MOC number in one minute. really don't have the strikes available to do at my homes if I'm going to vertical it off. It's only trading for $1.40. I think I'll pass. All right, MOC number in about 15 seconds. Oh. 
marked on those imbalance, 320 million to the sell side. 320 million sell side, very small. Close out my last Tesla vertical. Dick K, are you did you place a long trade for Microsoft? Or are you just all talk today? You gonna put some money on this? Come on. Hit me, hit me. Oh, gotcha. I don't know. 60% out. Power hour number two. I don't know. I can't think of anything fun. PM iron condor needs to stay below 45. The power of three hit 20%. Yes, that is correct, Decay. Microsoft's hitting new highs of day as we speak. It's getting excited. That pre pre earnings momentum move. <laughs> there we go. I needed you to be in with something. Seven minutes. All right. I, I mean, I guess we we, we got to stay on after the bell to see what the initial Microsoft move is for anyone who's interested. What do they what do they have down there in Florida that I would enjoy, Dick? <laughs> There's gotta be something there I like. I mean, you can't send the sunshine. I'd be, I'd hit a pin at fifty forty five. Just sit there. Yeah, I like this. I like the no state income tax. That's nice. Yeah, I need a I need a pin between forty and forty five. That would be ideal.
Five minutes to go. My power, my uh, PM Iron Condor would be worth forty-one eighty-eight if I get a pin, and then my other trade would be worth twenty-five seventy-five. So between forty and forty-five would be a nice little way to end the day. I need four oh five, four dollars five cents to hit forty percent on my last power hour. It's trading at four ten. Come on, hit me. At the money butterfly, still not two bucks. What do you need, Chad? Up or down? Four oh five. I, I just need it. Well, uh, forty five is my pin. I right, should be booking forty yeah. percent any second. There we go. Hit forty percent. Should be getting filled at two bucks on the butterfly if anyone's doing it. On the forty fives. Oh, I need a drop. Wrong way. Yep, that's the wrong way. Wrong way. Ah. It Stay fine, below fine, fifty fine. for me. Three minutes. A little mark down into the close, please. Little markdown. Two points. Three points. Can we get a little drop? Yeah, we've got PCE, core PCE pre-market tomorrow. University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment, 30 minutes after the bell. Stay down there. A little over a minute. One minute. That's it. Come on down. I need 270 for 60 and out. And I'm green for the day. Thirty seconds. Down, down, yeah, boy. Gonna, down, down, down. Nice MRP. You got your vertical filled. Finished at three forty-five. Forty-eight 
point four two. So my PM iron condor was good for about thirty thirty one hundred ish. My other one good for about eight fifty. Power hour for the win. So tomorrow's live stream, I think we're doing zero DTE in the morning, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So zero DTE live stream with the open. Then back for power hour. I'm going to hang out for a few minutes and watch my bet against Dick K materialize. Initial move up. That's good. <laughs> Get get Dick K's hopes up. There you go. Keep pushing a little bit. It's up 15 bucks on an expected move of what was it, 20, 22? All right. Getting close to the expected move. Okay, there it is. There's the expected move. Okay, it touched. Now it's got to. Now it's gonna fall apart. Conference call is not for another twenty minute, twenty five minutes. All right, I'm off to pick up the boys. All right, Chad. See you. See ya. See ya. Peace. Google, not moving yet. I need below 390. <laughs> I've got 24 hours. Not worried about it. Look at Tesla. Up almost 6% on the day. Big push into the close. Meta, a little bit of a bounce back. I need BA to fall, fall apart again. Google is up 7%. Expected move of nine bucks. And it's up well over the expected move. I'm awesome at these earnings plays. Did, did I tell you guys that? <laughs> I'm really good at these. You should definitely follow me. This is just part of the plan to get the bulls sucked in and excited before they just drop the hammer tomorrow. All right, my friends, that's all she wrote. A lot of time left. Still pretty confident. Dick K, are you worried? <laughs> All right, my friends, have a good night. Let's see, how did I do overall? Slightly green in one account. Yeah, both accounts, just small green. All right, all, take care. Uh, zero DTE, live stream at the open tomorrow, and then back for power hour. Take care. Talk to you soon.